My daughter called me. My son was already at the hospital. I did not know Fred had passed. All I knew is he was hit and the car had left the scene. The car with a hit and run driver at the wheel striking her son Fred Schwartz January 26, 2017 on this stretch of West Court Street in Flint Township just east of the I-75 overpass. Wanda soon learning memories made with her son would be all she'd ever had. The crime scene she can't escape converted by her family into a memorial. It's heartbreaking just to know that they hit him, they left him, there was no comfort for him, there was no one beside him while he was passing, and they didn't even call for help. It took a stranger walking to find his body laying alongside the road. Left with a limp from an accident at 14 years old and unable to drive, foot power becoming Fred's principal type of transportation, biking and walking almost everywhere. That night, just three blocks from his mother's home, he was hit with a force knocking him right out of his shoes. Fred's shoes were missing. They could not find his shoes at the scene. They thought it was really strange. Um, they went back the next day. They combed the area with other detectives, and they still could not locate his shoes. But within days, a family member helping with the memorial cross coming up with the shoes. They were sitting nearby in the grass, missed by the detectives, Wanda says, shaking her confidence in their investigation, eventually growing cold. I miss my son terribly. He deserves justice. Wanda turning to Crime Stoppers for help, putting out a PSA in hopes someone seeing something that night will share what they know. Police are quite literally trying to piece together enough evidence to close this case. In fact, small pieces of the vehicle that struck the victim, virtually the only evidence they have. The car parts, small, damaged, and without distinction for matching with a make or model. Their burgundy color, too common to yield clues, being examined by the Michigan State Police Crime Lab. Fred Schwartz was the consummate family man, adored by siblings and cousins, counted on by everyone. Uh, he'd always be there no matter what, you know, if you're having a birthday party or, or any kind of <clears throat> family function, he'd be the first one to show up, you know, last one to leave. It didn't matter, you know, he would find a way to get there. Fred's mother clinging to hope and common human decency that sooner or later someone will do the right thing. For a, somebody to hit someone and just leave them and not even call for help, it, it makes me wonder what kind of person can lay their head down and sleep at night. Because they should be haunted by that same thing. Very haunted. Very haunted. Yes. Very haunted. Frank Turner, WNEM TV5.